if you're looking in terms of sign graphs, what you're looking for is you would identify the midline, which we'll talk about how to do in a little bit. But if you see right here, it intersects the negative 5, and it comes up to here. So what you could do is you could count this right here is one period. Okay, that's what it takes for this graph to repeat. And so when you look straight down here, you see that it's at 48. So you know that your period is 48. Now, you might not think of this as a sine graph. Instead, you might think of it as a cosine. Uh, if you think of it as a cosine, what you would find is that it starts here and it moves and repeats to this step. So you could also think of this as being one period. And if you think of that as being one period, the the distance from negative 12 to 36, again, if you think about distance is absolute value of the difference of these coordinates, so you get absolute value of negative 48, which is 48. Same thing. So it doesn't matter if you think of them as cosines or sines, you're going to identify the period uh, either in either way. Okay, I want you to uh, do that again here really quickly with the next one, although it's set up a little bit easier. What would be the period of that function based on the graph that you see? Okay, if you think of it in terms of cosine from 0 to 24, that gives you your period very easily. If you think of it in terms of a um, sine, it's a little bit harder to see here, right? Uh, you don't have exact values or uh, you'd have to make an estimation. But even if you did, you can still see it's halfway between 0 and negative 12, halfway between, between 12 and 24. And so this is still going to be a uh, total period of 24. It's just easier to, to find it with the cosine. Understand, though, that you can use either one. 